everyone this is draw along with me video number five and today I'm going to show you one way to draw a ladybug this art lesson was inspired by my son's gardening gloves he loves to help with yard work and as you can see there's all kinds of bugs on here ladybugs moths butterflies all sorts of stuff so if you'll grab a piece of paper and something to draw with and uh, draw along with me I'm gonna use a sharpie as always so you can see it better in the video um, as with all the drawings, I want you to make sure you draw really big. This ladybug takes up a lot of space on the page and the bigger it is, the more room you have to color and um, just you can really see all the details. So first thing you're going to do towards the top of your paper, you're going to make a semicircle, which is just part of a circle and you're going to make the antenna, which is two little parallel lines and you're going to connect it with an oval shape. You're gonna do that on each side of your ladybug's head. Then you're going to make a shape. It looks like a rainbow that maybe somebody stepped on or like squished just slightly. So it's gonna go across like this. Instead of a round rainbow, it's gonna be you know kind of a little bit flat on top. And you're gonna draw one more horizontal line right across the bottom. Now you're gonna make the body of the ladybug. You don't wanna to get too close to the edge you still want to draw big, but you want to have room for the legs. So you're going to start on one side and work your way around. That's a little bit smaller than I meant to, but that's okay. You can see this one's a little bit lower, but that's fine. It's still going to be pretty big. For the legs, you're going to draw, think about your finger having little sections. Um, that's how their ladybug's legs are, is they have like little sections. So you're going to draw the first one up here, and I'm just going to make basically at little rectangles or like kind of rounded off rectangles, I guess. And you're just gonna connect them to make the feet. And I'm gonna make some little, almost like little fingers out the front. If you notice when they climb up a tree, they don't fall off usually, because um, they have those little tiny grippers on their feet. So you're basically just gonna do that. You got those two arms, they have six legs. So I'm gonna make my next two right about here. Now I like to hold my marker above my paper and just kind of trace across to see where it's going to go so it's nice and even. I'm going to scoot down about this much. I'm going to scoot that about that far down right there and draw the next set of legs. And they're symmetrical so they're in the same spot on each side so that they match. And now I'm going to make these legs go down. I'm going to make those little kind of like rounded off rectangle shapes. And for these feet, it's like an arch and then like a little bit of a zigzag for like the little grippers. If you have time to Google a ladybug, um, you can see the details of their feet a little bit more. But again, just think about these as like the digits of your, your, uh, your finger when it bends. Now onto the next side. I'm gonna make this leg go down just like that one and then this leg go down like that one. So you've got some up and some down. Just those little and they, they're not perfect rectangles, that's fine too. It can be, whoops. And if you mess up, just roll with it. Make it a beautiful oops. And there's another rectangle and another one. And a little bit of a zigzag for a gripper. Now you're gonna divide the shell in half, make one vertical line top to bottom, go all the way down. And then you can make your polka dots anywhere you want. I'm gonna add the little squares. If you look at a ladybug next time you pick one up, they've got like these little white squares right below their head at the top. Now you can make your polka dots wherever you want. You can have symmetrical ones that can have the exact same on each side. You can mix and match. You can have some big, some small, whatever you want. You can color your ladybug any kind of warm color that you want. Warm colors like red, orange, or yellow. Um, that's I've seen those colors of ladybugs, but if you want to make you know a pink and purple polka dot ladybug That's totally fine, too I've got all this extra space down here So if you want to add like more ladybugs more polka dots You want to add some squares or some kind of pattern in the background whatever you want for your drawing So there's one way to draw a ladybug See you next time